As the bowling got over, there was something that was very special that happened in the second inning. Because with the way he is batting, it's just not test cricket that he's dominating as of today. He seems to have found a spot in all three formats. And he's done well in all three formats. As an outsider, when you look at Yashishvi Jaiswal, how do you feel he's going about his cricket, Michael? I think he's the next superstar across all three formats. I just think he's got that, that beautiful gift of balance. Uh, plenty of time to, to face the quick bowling. That wonderful high bat lift and flow of the, uh, the willow through uh, the ball. Um, I thought today's innings was spectacular. And I thought both he and Shubman calmed the situation down. They played the tempo right at the start. Uh, I think he was 18 of 50 deliveries and suddenly he started to flourish and started to find the boundaries. And then he started to get into his T20 mode when he realised that the game was being pushed ahead by India. And it was all down to, there you go, the jazz ball effect. You just look at those numbers there in terms of the strike rate. Uh, striking from 76 to 100, 172. So he decided to get a move on and, and obviously um, get that uh, that scoreboard ticking. But oh, he's a wonderful player. He really is. He's, uh, he's a joy to watch. I, I guess the challenge will be when the ball starts swinging around, can he do it? in England, English conditions or in Australia when the ball just bounces a little bit steeper. But, um, yeah, I, I think well, it's not just me. I think there's many watching this young player play. And I think we're all thinking that he could be the next superstar of the world game.